elite group. So the PSG site even posted it. Uh, so the elite group was Borazara Emre, Eamon Corey, uh, Bichiabu, and two more players. Do you, does anyone remember who the two other players are? I think it's one of them is the goalkeeper. Oh, the goalkeeper, yeah. Wh wh who's the last one? I'm already sure. Yeah, I can look for it. Players. Because I, I saw a list. It came from the official website. Lucas, Lucas Lavelle, uh, Garby, yeah, Harry, Lavelle, Emery, Bichiabu. I think it's Lucas Lavelle. <laughs> yeah. But, but that's uh, the goalkeeper, I think. Yeah, I, I don't know, but yeah, yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. It's Le um, Leve, Garby, Kari, Bishabu, and. Oh, Andrew. Garby, Garby, yeah, Garby. I forgot him. I forgot him. Mm. I mean, the thing is, right now it's the beginning. We haven't seen anything yet. Can we trust that these players will be given the time to show off their qualities? Will they get game time at all with us being so stacked right now? Um. If I'm being if I'm being real. I mean, we. I mean, the World Cup schedule. Yes. Also, no. I would love if we can get like more loan deals, but I don't know how like how true it is to get the loan deals for these kind of players. But yeah, I mean, Garbin deserves to play. Zaire Emery deserves to play. Bishaba, I I still believe. Like, I'm not like everyone. I see he believe he should be in rotation because he yeah. was good for the for the under twenty ones competition. Did he play? Like, was it the Euros he played? Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. Yeah, he was good. So like, I I I, I believe he deserves because he's. He has he has the potential, so like, he's he's better right now to give him the minutes. He's also a left-sided center back, so he could be like behind Kimpembe. He could learn. He could play all the cup games like Copa de France and yeah. So like, yeah. But, but of, like, it looks like he will be that because we will have Ramos, and then uh, we say Skriniar, Marquinhos, Kimpembe, Mukiele, and then Bichiabu, six center backs. Because the, uh, Keller is probably leaving for Sevilla or West Ham, and Diallo is going to Milan. I think that Milan are just waiting and waiting and waiting, and then in the closing embers of the transfer window, they will go for him, so they get a cheaper price for him. So I think that Bichabu is in that rotation, and Warren Zaire Emery, we have already seen, he is in that rotation. The thing with Garbi is, if Galtier says he's good enough, why are we keeping Sarabia? I think Sarabi is a great option when you're playing in the Champions League. I think when you go into the Champions League, for example, as someone said, if Neymar is injured, you'll start with, for example, maybe Ikeseke, Mbappe, and Messi. You need someone off the bench. You can't just bring in Garby. If you're playing yeah. like Barcelona or City, for example, you need like at least a proven one. I think that's why you need Sarabi in there, I think. He's like yeah. not a like not a great world class player, but he's also not a bad player to keep. So he's like in there between. So I think he could give you like sometimes a good performance that you need from the bench. Yeah, yeah, and, I, yeah. and, and, and he's also a very very hard worker. So there's that. He works very very hard. So yeah, I think sorry, yeah. but I just think like the with the elite group and stuff. I just think the only way. It's true, probably the the defense because the attack is stacked. The midfield is over stacked, so I think it has to be the center backs or wing backs ish. Maybe I I yeah. still don't see the elite group in uh, the midfield or the, the attack. It's just probably the the center back role. If if there are any uh, are there any center backs in the elite group? Be, be trouble. Be trouble. Uh, so, Probably, probably he, he might get some time, but yeah, I think it's, it's too early, so we can't don't know anything yet. So we'll see. I think he, he gave Emery a few minutes, so you know, that that's good, that's good. But it's still very early. Let's let's see how it goes, and let's watch out for what happens after the World Cup. Even before you could start seeing some some strange like players coming in, so that they can get used. Yeah. To, you know, 
So, so that's the map. But I, I can see Galtier taking a lot of risks in the cup games. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, for sure. I think very early in the cup game. Very, very early. Yeah, I mean, cup games, we can see Garbi, Bichiabo, Warren Zaira, Emery, all of them start. And then he puts in a Verratti, a Messi, uh, a Marquinhos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just, just mix it up. And the League Cups, I think he's going to rotate a bit more and introduce more young people that yeah. we haven't seen at all. I think that is what I like about this project because giving time to young people when they have talent is something that we need to develop. You see, for example, Nkunku, yeah. Diaby, Coleman, all these players, they had talent, but they didn't have game time. So they left yeah. to prove themselves and they proved themselves. So I would love to give people young people time not not in like the big champions league games but in the cup games where it doesn't really matter so yeah 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 uh david how do you feel about the elite group um i like the program is like finally like this like we're taking our youths seriously our tds seriously because normally, we've, like, we've seen the likes of y- Yancey Nadeo leave. We've seen Cole, like, Coleman Co- leave. We've seen Alchish leave. We've seen all of them leave. Co- um, Tagi Kuasi leave. So, like, finally, Hatil, Chavis, and, yeah, a, 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 a lot of players leave. So, like, finally, we're taking it serious because there's a lot of talent in France. Yeah. And we it's better for, in the long term, it's better for us to, like, find this talent now than buy them later when they've exploded in a different team. So like, yeah, I'm happy we take we're taking it seriously. I I hope like we can find game time for them because we have some very talented youngsters, which deserve game time to like further the development. But yeah, I'm just uh, yeah we'll see we'll see. I'm, I just but, like that we're taking it very seriously. Yeah, but the yeah. thing is, I, I I'm hard to believe where they can get game time if Galte doesn't do a lot of rotation. That that so that's I, I why. Think... I, I prefer loan deals, to be honest. Yeah, but I don't I'll... think they will be loaned out. I've heard that Gasama and some other youngsters, PSG will try to extend them and send them on loan. Whilst the elite group is the group that will train with the first team and get minutes. So they they aren't going to be loaned out. That means that yeah. PSG have promised them minutes. Pro- minutes, but yeah. I think it's what, like, again, if PSG are like 4-0 four, four up, 5-0 up, 3-0 up, they could just throw in. Some young stars. I I think that that could be a good scenario. Like this Montpellier game, I think PSG could easily get four in the first half, and maybe bring in some new people. But, second but, half. But where will they sit on the bench when our bench now is stacked of quality players? That, that's, that's I, look, another I looked at that's our it. bench. Our bench, you can have. I think it was nine players. You can have on the bench. And Ligue 1 has actually five substitutions uh, in this new season. But our league, league, uh, our bench will be Rico in goal, and I think that we're getting screener. So the bench will be Ramos, Mukiele, uh, Juan Bernat, and uh, hmm, Renato Fabian. No, no, as a defender, yeah, Fabian Renato, and then up top, Ekitike Sarabia. One more defender, I'm missing. Uh, Danilo. Danilo. Yeah, one thing. Yeah, Danilo. that would be the bench mostly. Yeah. So that's our bench. Where wh- who do you switch? Yeah, who do you switch out for one of the youngsters? If if not an injury, for example. That's the only hope they have. It's a tough question. But PSG can, can, can give promises on injuries. I think every one of those positions are like really valuable. Maybe if you want, maybe take out a midfielder, but that's still harsh concerning the qualities you have there. Vettini, Avarati, Ronato, and Fabian Ruiz. You wouldn't want to take anyone off the bench at least because you need quality. But I think yeah. we'll maybe get a couple of injuries throughout the season because it's a long season. It's a World Cup season. People are going to be tired. So I think there's going to be rotations on the bench. So, yeah, I think injuries are going to mostly play a huge part in that bench. Yeah, but, but that's why I said PSG can't be giving youngsters promises of game time depending on potential injuries. Yeah, yeah, so I think yeah. I, I think it's the the cup games like when 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 did they start? The... Yeah, but that that that's too little. I mean, we, we, I think to the final it's like seven or six games. Uh, 
is that it's enough? Like, no. You don't, like, the, the, the squad is stacked right now, bro. So you could, it's, there's no space. There's, uh, after, as David said, I kind of agree with him now. Probably, like, alone with some of them because, like, it's, it's a very stacked squad right now. You know, we, when you feel, sometimes you feel just, like, that's four. Then there's Emery, so it's five. So it's it's two starts, bro. It's two two starts. I said that they're betting on injuries, and even but, if but, if get, if Verratti gets injured, there's Ruiz, there's Vitinha, there's Renato. Yeah. And then you look at Steven play that. So and if Neymar get injured, there's the TK, there's Sarabia, and there's the new striker that's coming in. So I just don't know what what the plan is for the the ticket for the yeah. for, for me, as we said, we're all said we don't know. We don't know, we don't know. But with us starting this elite group with Campos and Galtier, Campos likes to give youngsters playing time. Galtier likes to give youngsters playing time. So I'm, I'm just going to believe in them, that they're going to fix this and that we're going to be happy when we're seeing our youngsters play games. That's what I think. I just, I just believe in Campos and Galtier that they will do it. We don't know how, but they will do it. They, they will manage to find a way to do it. Because they can't be giving promises if, if there's nothing.